NationalUnderclassmen.com here with Jared Boyd. Jared will be playing in our NUC All World Gridiron Classic coming up on New Year's Eve. What does it mean to be selected to the game? It's a big step for me. It's very important. You know, I'm, I'm glad I can be a part of it. You know, it's the first time thing for uh, the All World um, game, and I want to be a part of it, make it big. I see that you're currently committed to Duke. You had a lot of other schools looking at you. Uh, some of the schools might have had better football programs than Duke. What made you pick Duke? Was it mostly academic related, or is there something you liked about their football program being that they are trying to build it? Well, yeah, we are trying to build it, and we will build it. But um, academics, I mean, you can't can't find a school like Duke on the East Coast. So, you know, they had a big part of it. Just the family aspect when I went down there, I felt like the coaches and the players and everybody was really tight, and that's an opportunity to play. You know, regardless of where I go, you know, I'm going to try to do my thing, and I will do my thing. But I just want to be a part of Duke building this program and uh, making Duke football like Duke basketball. You've been on the honor roll, I see, the last three years. A lot of the athletes who are, tend to be top football players are not always the best in the classroom. How have you been able to balance out your academics and your athletics to excel at both? Um, it's just a mindset. You've got to stay focused, you know. And uh, My parents push me, you know, because um, there's been times where I didn't want to do my work just like any other kid, but you know, you got to push yourself. And, uh, it paid off in the long run and got to a school like Duke, right? Next week, you're going to be competing with some of the top athletes from all across the world in the NUC All World Gridiron Classic. But do you have any anxiety knowing that you're going to have to perform at such a high level, being that it's going to be great competition as well as in front of a crowd of 20,000 people that will be nationally televised? Well, I'm not really worried about you know. I mean, all year we're competing against top players. I mean, all the camps and combines I've been to, and uh, all the games we played against some of the greatest players in Georgia, and um, combines some of the greatest players across the. Um, the world, like you said. So, I mean, a lot of these guys I've played against already, so, you know, I'm just really looking forward to, you know, a rise of the competition. What are you most looking forward to about the game and the game week? Just all of it, you know, just the whole experience as itself. I mean, I know playing in a game like this is big as this. You know, I'm looking forward to it and uh, just everything from uh, playing with teammates, meeting new people to the game itself and uh, being on TV, you know, everything. Do you have any specific goals set for the game in terms of uh, individual accomplishments? Uh, not really, you know. I, I mean, I'm just going out there trying to have fun. That's my biggest concern. Go out there and enjoy this. I mean, can't can't do it over. You know, it's the last my last high school game, so you know I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm just going out there trying to have fun. No, no, I don't have anything to prove. Just going out there trying to have fun. That's it. You were very successful during your high school career, which you recently completed on the football field. Looking back, what is your favorite memory? Uh, you know, what is something that you believe you're going to take with you for quite some time that happened during those four years of high school on the football field? I mean, probably the funnest thing, the greatest memory I have is playing with teammates, you know. DBs, DBs, SDs, we were real close. You know, from uh, Kadeech Marcus, I know you know him, David Stevens, Donald Sellers, even to the 2010 class with Kenny Ladler and uh, Chris Sharp. All those guys, know we were real close. I'm going to miss playing with them. More than anything. What are your goals you have set for yourself for 2011 and beyond, starting when you're a freshman at Duke University? Well, I mean, just like any other uh, player, I'm coming in expecting to play. Uh, so my first goal is on the job. Um, the second goal is to help this help Duke, um, you know, build a program, become one of the top programs in the ACC and hopefully the country. And what uh, program are you planning to study, and what would you like to do if you don't end up playing professional football career-wise? Um, I'm actually studying. I'm going to pick biology and chemistry. I don't know which one yet, and then I'm going to um, usually be a pharmacist if football don't work out. What message do you have in closing for all the young athletes out there who are looking to excel and play Division One football as well as play in a game like the All-World Gridiron Classic in the future? Man, just work hard. Keep God first. If you do those two things, you'll be straight.